Okay, hello guys. Hope you're having a great time with GK Icon. Had a couple of really good questions this week. One in particular was in regards to goal kicks and how can you improve your goal kicks. Now, one of the biggest things, certainly when you're younger, and one of the mistakes that a lot of young kids will make is to try and kick the ball too high. Now, the problem with this is that you end up kicking underneath the ball and the flight of the ball, although it might go a little bit higher initially and you might get a little bit of yardage, over time that's not the correct technique. The best technique for kicking a football and the best thing that I can tell a young goalkeeper to practice is to really work on the strike zone. Now what I mean by that is that moment where your foot comes through the ball. Uh, very similar to a golfer, when a golfer swings a golf club for as much as they'll go back and come through, the interesting bit is that bit where they do strike the ball, the way in which their wrist snap and they come through the ball. It's very similar with a goal kick. It's the way in which, uh, not necessarily trying to hit the leather off it and to hit it too hard, it's the timing as you come through and the nice strike and, and in order to snap the knee down and come through the ball and drive the ball as opposed to trying to get under the ball and kick it up in the air. Now this will take a little bit of understanding from managers as well because uh, sometimes it might not go that high, but to get the correct technique it needs to be more of a drive, more of a lower trajectory uh, than a chip because otherwise when you get older it will certainly hold you back a little bit if you're trying to chip the ball as opposed to drive the ball. Okay, So that's a little bit of advice on goal kicks uh, and obviously where you can look to play out, certainly the way of the game now, the more we can play out the more chance our team have of building quality attacks. Uh, another question I had was in regards to confidence. Now, with goalkeeping being as it is with any sport, there's only so much you can control. Do you know what? You can feel fantastic every week. You can prepare perfectly, train brilliantly, eat well, sleep well, do everything you possibly can. And then it comes to a Saturday, Sunday morning, and things just don't go your way. It's just the way that it is. And then vice versa, sometimes you can do everything wrong and have the best game of your life. Now, my advice is that Ultimately, you can only do what you do. You can only give the best that you can possibly give. And you've just got to have faith that over time, you will have more good games than bad games. Be careful not to get too high when you win and similarly not too low when you lose. And it's a trap that a lot of goalkeepers fall into, that they lose a game of football and everything's wrong in the world. And they feel uh, very nervous going into the next game. They go home, they're unhappy, they're, they're frustrated with themselves. And similarly, when, when they win the game, they feel like they're maybe better than they are. Now, neither is true. The, the truth is that there's only so much that you have power over when you play a game of football. You can prepare the best that you possibly can prepare, but ultimately, what will happen will happen. Now, naturally, the more that you train, the more that you do your work with GK Icon, and the more that you work on the individual skills, over time, you will play better games consistently, over and over and over. But it's never guaranteed, and you need to know that it's never guaranteed. You will lose games of football, you will make mistakes. The key is then just to remember that with each mistake, you have an opportunity to learn, okay? And that's really, really important. With every mistake, you have an opportunity to learn something new and, 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 and know what not to do next time almost, if, if that makes sense. Anyway, again, thank you for your questions. Um, sorry I couldn't answer all of them this week, but if you have more questions, please do email them through and we'll make a point of doing a video such as this every week. I'll give as much advice as I can and keep the great stories coming through as well. It's, it's fantastic to see so many of you doing so well.